U.S. Air Force spy planes U-2 reconnaissance fly into Chinese airspace during live-fire military exercises in the country's North China for second day in a row. Beijing alleged that a U.S. spy plane entered a no-fly zone it had designated over an area where the Chinese military was conducting live-fire drills, condemning the overflight as a provocative act. An American U-2 reconnaissance aircraft severely disrupted regular Chinese training activities by intruding into airspace over an area where the People's Liberation Army's Northern Theater Command was carrying out the exercises. China lodged a strong protest against the incursion of the U.S. planes into Chinese airspace during live-fire military exercises in the country's north and said it was a naked act of provocation. The tensions between the two countries have heightened after the U.S. Air Force spy planes flew across the South China Sea entering restricted airspace during the live-fire Chinese military drill for the second day in a row. China lodged a strong protest after an alleged incursion of a U.S. Air Force U-2 spy plane into a no-fly zone imposed during live-fire military exercises in the country's north on Tuesday. However, a U.S. RC-135S reconnaissance aircraft on Wednesday flew near a separate and ongoing PLA drill in the South China Sea, after U.S. spy plane was spotted for the second time on Wednesday. China fired two missiles including an aircraft carrier killer into the South China Sea as an act of warning to the United States. One of the missiles, a DF-26B, was launched from the northwestern province of Qinghai, while the other, a DF-21D, lifted off from Zhejiang province in the east. Both were fired into an area between Hainan province and the Paracel Islands, China lodged a strong protest against the incursion of the U.S. planes into Chinese airspace during live-fire military exercises in the country's north and said it was a naked act of provocation. The action had seriously interfered in normal exercise activities and severely incurred the risk of misjudgment and even of bringing about an unintended air-sea incident. This was a naked act of provocation. Quoting spokesperson Wu Qian. China has lodged a stern protest and demanded the U.S. see such actions. Relations between the U.S. and China have sunk to their lowest in decades amid disputes over a myriad of issues including trade, technology, Taiwan and the South China Sea. The U.S. blacklisted 24 Chinese companies and targeted individuals it said were part of construction and military actions in the South China Sea. The U.S. Commerce Department said the two dozen companies played a role in helping the Chinese military construct and militarize the internationally condemned artificial islands in the South China Sea. China said a U.S. spy plane entered a no-fly zone reserved for the Chinese military, describing the incident as an act of provocation, and another sign of the simmering tensions between the two superpowers. Chinese state-run news agency Xinhua cited Defense Ministry spokesman Wu Qian as it reported the U-2 reconnaissance jet's flight over the north of the country, stating the action violated safety rules between the U.S. and China. The U.S. action could easily have resulted in misjudgments and even accidents, the ministry said. China firmly opposes such provocative actions and has lodged solemn representations with the U.S. side, the defense ministry continued. China demands the U.S. side immediately stop this kind of provocative behavior and take actual steps to safeguard peace and stability in the region. U.S. says flight within rules. The U.S. military said a U-2 flight occurred in the Indo-Pacific region and confirmed in a statement it was within the accepted international rules and regulations governing aircraft flights. Pacific Air Force's personnel will continue to fly and operate anywhere international law allows, at the time and tempo of our choosing. The U-2 aircraft can fly at over 70,000 feet and conduct reconnaissance activity from afar while not necessarily having to enter a no-fly zone. Relations between Washington and Beijing have gradually deteriorated over anything from trade and human rights to what the United States perceives as overly aggressive moves by China's armed forces. Beijing has launched two medium-range missiles into the South China Sea in a scathing warning to the United States, as tensions between the superpowers soar, triggering World War III fears in the region. The move came on Wednesday morning, one day after China said a U.S. U-2 spy plane entered a no-fly zone without permission. 